so much going on. Okay, cute, isn't she? It's getting bigger and bigger. Sexy yes. time, yes. Richard. Yes. I like the way you feel. I don't even know if I can say that, Richard. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> So who's coming in today? So we have Anna Sophia. I've actually never met her in person. So excited to meet her. So she's, I believe, on the Eurostar right now. She should be coming anytime soon. <laughs> Hi, Anna Sophia. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Very, very well. How does it feel to be back in London? It feels so lovely. Of course, it's raining. How does it feel to come back and see your colleagues? Amazing, especially because I'm seeing half of them for the first time. Welcome. Hi, nice to see you. Welcome back. Well, here I am. Missed you. Welcome back. There are so many new faces since the last time that I was here. Sarah, Zina. They're new. It really is different because when you walk in, suddenly you see so many faces and it's just a different kind of vibe, but it's just exciting. Right. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing in this episode? There's a lot of team photo shoots. It took us about two and a half months to get a date where everyone is actually in town. So maybe you've seen Anna Sofia flying in just arrived for this. You'll be meeting some of our new recruits, Sarah. I'm Sarah Altamon, public art director at MT Art. I'm not saying that I picked them, but she's part of a bureau of hires. So that's literally incredible in terms of experience. So you'll be learning loads about public art. It's an amazing live session with the art of Alexandria. Is one of our latest artists which is signed. Hello, dear Lees. Our team has now got to the point where we have to kick each other out of the room. You guys have like grown. We're multiplying. You're like fungus. Exactly. You're <laughs> that hack man eating everything. What is your role here at the MT Art Agency? I'm the new public art director. Public art is incredibly important for people's mental health, for communities, to bring crowds together. And it's a big passion for MT Art. I'm here to make it happen more. It's really hard to find a public art director because it's very niche expertise. When we met, she was not looking for a job and I thought she would become a client. She was advising oh. on public art, placemaking, architecture. We just got along so well. I could not dream of having such a high profile leading that division. The caliber of expertise she's bringing to the artists is going to be heaven. We have so much going on. Oh really? Yes. What's the most exciting thing going on right now? Lorenzo just got officially announced on the High and Die profile today. Absolutely. A project that I have been working on since day one of my job. The biggest project that we're running as a team ever as MTR. Super exciting because it means it's all actually going. You start to see the project coming together and I'm just finalizing our in-store dates. You're coming with us to Qatar. <laughs> Super exciting. Oh, yeah. The best episode is going to be groundbreaking. I think I'm going to win a couple of this. <laughs> I think you will. <laughs> Art is actually one of our pillars at the company. Public art is very empty art thing because it's artistically of the highest standard, but equally for everyone. I went to Barcelona two weeks ago. I drove Jan. I drove for the first time on the other side of the road. Really? Can Jan not drive? He couldn't at, the, uh, couldn't at the time. He can drive. He may have lost his license briefly. Rented a little Fiat 500 and I didn't kill him. Well done. Well, there's, there's lots going on at the moment, Richard. Lots and lots and lots. Um, <laughs> So I've been here for just over six weeks. And how's it all going? It's going really well. The team has been super welcoming. It's been excellent. Loved it. Who's your favourite team member? Oh, that's a hard one. You can't ask questions like that. I do though. <laughs> Honestly, everyone has just been great. Everyone's an expert in the rain field. This lift is I know, like terrifying. I'm, I'm trapped in here for like 20 seconds. This is terrifying. Month, you know? I'm, not, I'm not kidding. This has not happened to me before. No, so. Sweet life at Omega. <laughs> Come on, don't break on us. I think we're all right. What are you working on right now? Multiple projects. So I basically cover all of the social channels. Just been given the reins by Marine. This week is my first week solo. As you know, we've had our big announcement today on social with High and Die. Beautiful piece of work with Lorenzo to go at the World Cup Fan Festival. Who's going to win contest. the World Cup? I have to say England. Surely. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, like, definitely. Surely. I mean, they've won every other well, year. Well, who so. do you think's going to win? Qatar. There's only going to be one winner and it's going to be Qatar. <laughs> um, what's new in the office? We just received two amazing works of our artist Robert Montgomery. The last time we exhibited a similar body of work of his, so it was in 24 hours. It's very strong. They have a sense of space. It's a mix of architecture, there's a mix of poetry, it really represents him strongly. But you tend to think of him purely within visual poetry. So he instead, he's more expressionist, has better sense of space, so it captures the breath that he has as an artist. How do you feel about the direction that MTR agency is going at the moment? I think it's only just going to get bigger and better. So the only way is up? The only way is up. <laughs> I was going to sing it. Baby! Thank you and me now. That is a tune. Is this the only one we've got? It's one of says in the office. Should we go with it? Yeah. Razia, you're doing the sitting plan, right? So you can play with a few chairs and see what you think is best. Because you've got. Yeah, perfect. So what's going on here? Razia, who is our photographer, is shooting the team. Why did you want to have a photo shoot with everybody? Love a photo shoot. Why not? Are you, are you really? I feel really underdressed today. Everyone looks like they're about to go <laughs> no, to a we're wedding. Looking to a wedding. What are you looking for from this photograph? A sense that first of all, there's a real diversity of brain in who are leading the company. We've brought together people from very different types of backgrounds and expertise to be part of the team. It's different. You can jump in. Every day. Hello. How are you? <laughs> yeah, very well. How are you getting on? Busy as usual. It's back to school, back to work, yeah. back to collecting art. How are you feeling about the photograph? I'm 
excited. There's so much going on in this no, there's list. There's so much going on in this list. Let's just hang out the list all day. Right. Nice. What do we have here? So that's the second work from the same series. You have the strong poetic statement, strong sense of space again. He collects loads of antics. Huge house in the countryside. We've Greta Bellavacina. Also produce movies together. So you can almost tell there's a sense of narrative, the understanding of the antics. Even that detail here feels much more like 1960s in terms of design. And it feels quite dramatic. The curtain is about to like fall through. I'm just going to test and see how we move it. Zina, what are you doing right now? I'm just checking with the team of how to move Lovely Raven's work for the photo shoot, though we love it. It shouldn't probably be in our team picture, unfortunately. So. Good luck, guys. Oh my god, no. <laughs> our gloves on. Can we just pop him down here in his new home. Thanks, Hannah. Appreciate that. You can also appreciate a snow cleaning <laughs> with those girls. Talk to next week. Okay, good. Where are you hoping to be? Right at the back. Do you have like a favourite side? I feel like everyone has a favourite side, but I've never really been told or realised. Maybe it's because you've got two great sides. No, I don't think that's it. Sure. Hey, Juliet, what's your best side? This one. Right. I mean, I think. I feel like you've been in quite a few team photos now. How, yeah. What number is this one? Second. Uh, no, third. I'm going to show you. They're grouped around the chairs. So it's nice and even. I don't know what you feel about that. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, sex yeah, time. Yeah. 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 We should go for that one. Get okay. <laughs> the rounds, we've got it. And bring two bottom chairs. Oh, right. Do you know what? The last time we used it was in the nook and they were perfect. Okay, okay, should we try and reproduce? How many are they? One, two, three, four. How many are we again? Thirteen. Oh, like the last one. Hopefully, it'll be our last Tim picture. Julia, can you go next to five? Oh, Julia. Yeah, you are. With a webtoon. <laughs> I'm taking this space. You are taking it extremely seriously. Yeah. 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 Can we give Wayne a bit more on that side? Can we be like this or like this? Okay, it's quite nice. Anna Sofia, you, I feel, have potential to do the happy, excited pose <laughs> that looks really cute because you are that person in our team. And then we're holding this leg out, so it's like. What is yeah. the most exciting thing about working at the MTRT you can see right now? Expansion plans we have, feeling that you're part of something that's escalating. It's getting bigger and bigger. Oh, this is actually oh, exactly what I had in mind. This is so good. That's actually quite nice. It's it's cute. cute, isn't she? Yeah, I knew she would do that. It's really. a good place. Yeah. Yes. Maybe you lay across everyone's lap. We can always try. I like the way you think. <laughs> Then Zina, you come in and you tell where Yan and I are going. So Marie needs to be in the middle. Yeah. Who's yeah. Zina? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Thinking Vogue. Oh, beautiful. Team has tripled since January. I mean, you've been part of that. You've seen that, like, we've tripled in terms of size, in terms of numbers of people. I think it's important for everyone to be in the team picture and for everyone to be proud to be a part of the team. It's a bit like a back to school feeling of just capturing what we all are. Okay, are we doing Smiley or Serious now? Okay, and now let's do some. Great. And Smiley. Yes. Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah. We got it? We got it. We think yeah. it's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Zina. I remember the first one, we had no clue, so I feel it's actually much better now. Yeah. How do you think the photo shoot went? As the main director, obviously, incredibly. Yeah, very well done. It was all down to you. Nailed it. Hello. Thank you. How are you feeling at the moment? I'm feeling great. Generally, like, I've had a great year. I had a plaster. Suddenly, I removed the plaster, got the investment, got engaged, got pregnant, got more funding, got more partnerships. So I'm just like, maybe it's all about having a plaster these days. I mean, 2022. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking pretty good for Marine Tongi. Do you mind your legs more tucked in? We have quite a few new artists. One of which I'm really excited about is Alexandria Co. I had the joy to see her developing. You observe for a few years and then you just think you're really at the stage where we can have. How do you start? <laughs> What's the first thing that you do? I make lots of mistakes. I probably just go quite instinctually. But the first drawings are always a little bit ropey. Mm. How do you know when you want to sign an artist? We have a full process now. It's not just a hunt. No, 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 no. You know, it cannot be about the taste of Marine. It has to be democratic. So the selection committee, then it goes over to the team. Strict criterions such as relevance to the audiences, relevance in terms of the art world, relevance in terms of partnerships and public art as well. So it's actually pretty structured is the answer. I tend to like making things that are really quick because that is how my brain works. I think it's important to draw from life because that's what's really there and sometimes you still have to catch yourself because you'll still be on automatic mode. Is there anything that you want your work to say? Almost something that isn't very descriptive. That idea of like the unsocialized body, even naked we're dressed by a sense of society. It's like a primal process I think drawing as well, like it's the first language and that's why I try and keep everything quite raw. We are underneath it all just body and skin and flesh, just stripping literally stripping away overly socialized thoughts. For me there is like that real difference between naked and nakedness and nudity. To be naked is to be as one is born. To kind of take that forward into this 
very socialised world we live in always brings us back down to the more authentic side to ourselves. So there's inauthentic layers yeah. that society throws on everything. Yeah, and I think no one can ever escape that. How do you navigate into being like, oh, are these my thoughts or are these society's thoughts? The joy in signing someone that you really believe in, you just see so much potential and you just are fully hoping that they will realise. You finish your analysis the next step of the process. Usually I would select the ones that I really light out of these it's probably only two and then i'll like work on them again always like a process of seeing how you can see things differently right sarah where are we going now we're going to alexandria studio in angel how do you feel about studio visits i love it it's it's the natural habitat of the artist that's where they feel the most comfortable so i really look forward to that can you tell us a bit more about how do you work in this space i always start with like the drawings like this one was today and then i'll like work on them again and again which is why there's like loads of paper everywhere and then they'll become like the finished ones or like I'll take a drawing and then I'll slowly find what I find interesting in it in terms of whether that's the more detail or the less detail usually that I create a lot and then I pick from them to create something that like I want to work with or like start to experiment with so like that one up there became this one which was just an okay, experiment so that's so beautiful like I've worked with monochrome before so these were literally like masking fluid and then you scrape it off yeah sometimes painting doesn't feel like drawing too perfectionist I suppose and and then it loses that feeling that it was done in a moment. To me that worked as a drawing, maybe the one underneath, but then the other ones didn't work because I wasn't really there or I wasn't concentrating. I love these big scales, but I think this is still like something that I would love to hang in my living room and have a look at it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it's really, I feel like that person is probably at a beach. Isn't Were you sketching from afar? No, I was probably taking a photo <laughs> quite perfectly. <laughs> All these hang-ups around our bodies and you look on a beach, no one cares, sitting in these actually really interesting ways. Sweaty, like really close, yeah. tanning reading. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for everything. Okay, guys, how was that? So I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing an artist's natural habitat where they pull together their feelings yeah. because it's so raw. Kind of intimate as well. When you walk into an artist's studio, sometimes it's like walking into their mind. Right? Yeah, exactly. I love how vulnerable the people look in her drawing. Oh, Anna Sophia, you should be an art critic. Oh, love it. come on. <laughs> okay, well, I will see you later. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye, Richard.